Although a lot of his roles put him on the wrong side of the law, in the late 50s, Broderick Crawford became a familiar face in American homes, playing police chief Dan Matthews in the popular TV series Highway Patrol. He'd also become very familiar to the actual California Highway Patrol. The hard-drinking actor was stopped so many times for drunk driving, he finally had his license suspended. All his driving scenes on the show had to be filmed on private roads, since Crawford was forbidden from getting behind the wheel on public motorways. He moved to Europe in the 1960s, where he continued to make films and tried to get his boozing under control. He continued acting into the 1980s until he eventually succumbed to a series of strokes, which killed him at 74 years of age. Writer Bill Bowers was another guy known to enjoy a cocktail or two, and it's a safe bet that any script he worked on included more than a few scenes set in bars, where Bowers could often be found rewriting scripts. That thing with the white wine and beer was clearly a Bowers touch although I've never found any evidence suggesting such a combination was a common thing in New Orleans. Since it's not easy to fake beer on camera, my guess is that Bowers did Crawford a solid by giving him something real to drink on the set. It's also a great touch that Johnny D'Amico hates the wine and beer one too. Midway through the movie, there's a funny moment as D'Amico winces when Smoothie, played by Matt Crowley, pours him another of the usual Bowers had a hand in numerous noir films during the height of the era, but towards the end of his career, he specialized in comedic westerns like Support Your Local Sheriff. He was also a screenwriting mentor to UCLA filmmaking student Francis Coppola, who later cast Bowers as a member of the Senate Crime Committee in The Godfather Part II. Robert Parrish continued directing into the 1970s but his later projects never lived up to the promise he showed in early films, like the westerns Saddle the Wind and The Wonderful Country. Parrish's lasting legacy in Hollywood is a pair of exceptional autobiographies he wrote about his early life in the business. The first, Growing Up in Hollywood, was published in 1976, and to many historians, it's the best memoir about Hollywood ever written. Parrish became close friends with French director Bertrand Tavernier, and in 1983, the two of them made a documentary called Mississippi Blues about the history of music indigenous to the American South. It was Parrish's last film as a director. Actress Lynn Baggett provides the only bit of femme fatalism to be found in The Mob. That was pretty much her specialty in the 40s when she played chorus girls and hostesses in a string of B-movies. In the 1946 Cole Porter biopic, Night and Day, her character was listed in the credits as simply Sexpot. Her roles diminished in 1948 after she married producer Sam Spiegel. It was a stormy union, one that was over before Spiegel won the Best Picture Oscar for producing 1954's On the Waterfront. That same year, Baggett was convicted of felony hit and run when she caused an accident that killed a nine-year-old boy returning from summer camp. She never overcame the grief and guilt, and in 1960, only weeks after being discharged from a sanitarium, she killed herself with an overdose of barbiturates. Well, instead of ending on that sunny note, who wants an adult dose of noir on the big screen? And mark your calendar for my upcoming Noir City Film Festival, held this January 20th to the 23rd at the Grand Lake Theater in Oakland, California. I recorded many episodes of Noir Alley there during the pandemic, and for four days this week, you can enjoy Noir in a vintage movie palace. I'll be there hosting the whole thing. Check noircity.com for the full schedule. And remember, even if you're attending the festival, make sure to come back here next week. I'm making up for this week's paucity of pulchritude by showing the 1957 movie Overexposed, starring blonde bombshell Cleo Moore. I'll see you next week, either in person or right back here. 10-4 and over.